Look at all these delicious shrooms. Hey guys, what is going on? Iron Noobs coming back at you with episode, I believe, 12 of the old school Iron Man. I had a lot of gains this episode, did a lot of crazy stuff, uh, a lot of stuff that was a first for me that I'd never done, but I hope y'all enjoy this episode, and let me go ahead and start rolling those clips. Hey boys, there we go, just completed the Chompy Bird Quest, or Big Chompy Bird Quest, got two quest points, 262 Fletching, 1470 Cooking, these are some rain. Random numbers in 735 range, uh, so that takes me up to 98 quest points, and that opens up another part of the RFD task, so let me go see what I need to do to free him, and we can get that taken care of. There we go, boys, just released Scratch, the Bone Crusher, got 1500 cooking, wood cutting range, and crafting. More access to the chest. Five more council members to go. Hey, there we go. Just finished up the golem. One quest point. 1k crafting and thieving. Let's go and start up Shadow of the Storm. Hey, boys. There we go. Shadow of the Storm gone and done. I'm going to go ahead and put this into magic. Uh, now I got the dark light, 10,000 magic XP, which does get me, boom, 60 magic. Hell yeah, that's been a long time coming. Can now charge the earth orbs and get bones to peaches from the magic training arena. But there we go, 60 magic. That takes me to 101 quest points. And now we can do the evil Dave part of rest before disaster. So let's go and start that. Alrighty boys, here we go, fixing to finish up the Evil Dave part of RFD, boom. Blah, 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 who gives a shit, boom, one class point, 7k cooking, ability to make spicy stews, which I've never been able to do, so that's super badass, I can make spicy stews, and I have more access to the chest, I have a Quest points 102 at the moment. Sweet. Four council members left. Oh, 57 cooking. And that's it, but nice. So, we'll see. I need to start Legends to do this guy, but we'll go ahead and see about doing Pirate Pete next, I guess. Hey, there we go. Went ahead and actually did the Lumbridge Guide next just because it was pretty quick. 2500 cooking and 2500 magic XP. Increased access to the chest. So, right now, I do have. I've got three members left. Obviously, uh, the knight I can't do yet because I need to do the hero's quest. I need to get two more mining levels to do that. So, I may take a break from doing this and go get those two mining levels. Um, or I may go and do Pirate Pete. I've looked at what I need for a Wogi, and uh, I'm not too excited about doing it. So I may take a break and go and get my mining levels, and then come back do Pete, the Knight, and then a Wogi final. But we'll see. I'll show y'all in the next clip. But I should be up to the Mithril gloves, I believe, and. I'm not going to buy them just because if I do knock out Pirate Pete, then that will get me, I believe, the Addy Gloves. Let me double check if I'm even at the Mithril, because to be honest, I'm unsure. I've never done this before. So I know I was at the Black Gloves before that part, but let's see what we're at here. Yep, Mithril. So I'm assuming the next guy's going to get me Addy then rune i don't know if there are dragon gloves um but i know i don't get the barrows until after i complete your kitten has grown into a healthy cat that can hunt for herself sweet um uh, but i'll let y'all know what i decide to do as far as that goes a 42 fire making no, I'm just kidding. Actually, I was sitting over here fire making. Uh, if you remember in the last episode, I was only 30. I wasn't going to show any of these levels until I got to 50. But I wanted to show this because it gets me a total level of 1100. So that's a very nice achievement for me. I'm going to continue just fire making until I get the 50 that I need. 
for the quest requirement and then I'm gonna go and finally get my 50 mining and we'll see what we end up going and doing after that alrighty boys here we go this should be the last log come on boom now I've got 50 fire making can now burn mahogany's and maple pyre logs so sweet that's one of my one of my uh, quest requirements out of the way, so now I'm gonna go finish up my mining. Good news is though, I still got over a thousand willows to be able to cut to try to get myself closer to that 70 fletching, so that's gonna help out a lot. Nice, let's go get that mining done. Here we go, there's 50 mining, hell yeah. So that's one of the other requirements that leaves me with nothing but the 70 cooking which I believe is required for the desert treasure and still need roughly 72 more quest points I do still have a couple of quests that I need to get done for all the requirements but I'll decide I'll look through the list and see which quest I want to do and as soon as I find out y'all will be made aware well here we go boys one of the most hated quests by me complete Shiloh village if I was a red-headed ginger, this is where I would say, HELL YEAH! Alrighty boys, after a long, long grind to finally get to this point, we're finally going to be hitting that 70 fletching. I did go ahead and decide to use uh, some of my bow strings. Boom, there we go, 70 fletching. Can now make you long bows, hell yeah. So I did decide to go ahead and use some of my bow strings. Um, I didn't need to use very many of them, not even a thousand of them. Still leaves me a thousand here. And then I just figured it was going to be faster than me going and chopping. Chopping away at the logs. But now I'm going to take all these logs. And, uh, oh I'm sorry, all these unstrung bows and probably sell them to the general store. Um. I'm going to leave one just for placeholder. Well, I probably don't need to leave placeholders. Um, what was I fixing to say? I am going to keep these 900... Where are they? I just saw them. These 940 maple longbows. I am going to keep those and out those eventually later on. While I train some agility because I did not realize that they are actually worth 384 coins. And I think I only pay like 200 GP for per nature. So they... I actually will profit just a little bit, but I actually will profit about 100k off of those. So I'm going to go sell these, and then I'll decide what I want to do next. Alrighty, here we go, boys. Fixing to sell this last little bit of the Willow Longbows. Look at that cash stack, man. 274k. Man, that is crazy. I did not expect that much from them. Uh, but I did get all those done, so I think what I'm actually going to do is I've been sitting really close to 56 Agility. So what I'm going to go do is go up to the wilderness uh, room place. I can't, mage arena or whatever it's called. Go and buy me some nature runes. I got about 240 of them in the bank. But I'm going to go and spend some of this cash and buy some more of those. And I'm going to go train my agility whilst alking these 940 maple longbows. So I'll let y'all know when I get probably done with the agility or the alking. And there we go with 56 agility. So I've got about 850 more bows to go. So I think I'm just going to continue going, uh, doing this agility whilst alking and try to get some more marks of grace. Maybe I can get another piece of my graceful done. There we go. Just snag myself 61 magic. Nice. And there we go. Just finished alking up. All the bows got about 365k, so pretty nice. Made some pretty decent profit. I do have like 85 U's, 84 U's that I could do, but I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on that. I'm gonna run down to the charter ship and start trying to buy soda ash, seaweed, and buckets of sand so that I can start trying to get some orbs, uh, trying to get some molten glass to make some orbs because I am. 62 now which means I can make earth orbs and uh, start trying to buy a little bit of battle staffs every day and alk them to increase the cash stack total right now is 458k so almost half a mil it's pretty sweet man pretty sweet alrighty guys well I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here I made quite a few quest gains this episode uh, I got a few levels here and there 
Um, I actually I got all my soda ash and everything done. As you can see, I've already got 244 molten glass and 285. I'm having to make my own buckets of sand because it, it was just taking way too long uh, to buy. So I'm just down here in Zanaris, Zanaris, whatever you want to call it, uh, getting my buckets of sand to finish up my last little bit. And that way I can make those into orbs and charge them up into earth and get those down for uh, the earth staffs to out. So if y'all did like the episode, go ahead and hit that like button for me. If y'all have got any comments or suggestions or anything, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section for me. And remember, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you're liking this content, you can go back to episode, check in my playlist. And there is a... Uh, a playlist of the Iron Man episodes going on. So if you haven't seen them from the beginning, you can go check that out. Until the next time, this is Iron Noob saying peace.